So guys, welcome back. In this section of the course, we will going to discuss the concepts on stack memory. So we already know that in virtual address space of a given process, the stack memory occupies the top position in the virtual address space. By top position, I mean that the stack memory resides on the higher address side of the process virtual address space. So in this section, we will going to discuss the stack memory concepts in detail. So we will going to focus on what exactly is stack memory, what is the purpose of stack memory, and how stack memory is organized by the operating system for a running process. So going forward, region of memory in process virtual address space where data is added or removed in last in first out manner is the stack memory. So as we know that stack memory here, the meaning of the stack means that whatever data you add last is the data which will be removed first. So stack memory works on the concept of stack. So stack memory is basically a stack data structure. So when a new function call is invoked, some data is added to the stack memory and when a current function call returns, the data is removed from the stack memory. This data is actually called a stack frame. Thus, every function has its stack frame. So you can see that suppose, for example, we have a main function which makes a call to the function A and function A makes a call to the function B and function B makes a call to function C. So each of these functions will have their own respective stack frame. So suppose when the function A invokes the function B, then the stack frame of function B will be pushed into the stack memory. And when the function B executes and it further invokes the function C, then the stack frame of the function C is pushed into the stack. So any data which is stored in the stack memory is set to be reside on the stack. So every process has its own fixed configurable stack memory. So note that the maximum amount of stack memory that is available for a given process is actually fixed. It neither grows nor it shrinks and it is configurable. Configurable means that you can change the operating system parameters and configure the maximum amount of stack memory on the system. This configured value will be the maximum size of the stack memory for every process that runs on your machine. When process terminates, stack memory is reclaimed back by the operating system. So I will share the command with you using which you can actually check on your system the maximum amount of stack memory for a process available on your system. So for the function f to execute, its stack frame should be set up first on the stack memory, right? And setting up the stack frame of a function is a joint effort of the caller and the callee. Now what is caller? Suppose function f1 invokes function f2, then f1 function is called caller and f2 function is called callee. Right? So when function f1 invokes function f2, it is the caller's and the callee's responsibility to set up the stack frame for the function f2 on the stack memory. Unless the stack frame is rightly set up on the stack memory, function f2 cannot commence its execution. So you can see in this example, we have a main function which invokes function A, function A invokes function B and function B invokes function C. So this is the stack memory that I have shown in this diagram. And each block you can see is actually called a stack frame. The other name of the stack frame is the activation record. So every function has its own stack frame and that stack frame needs to be pushed into the stack memory for the function to execute. So you can see that the stack frame are pushed into the stack from higher address towards lower address. That is stack frame of the most recent function which has been invoked lies at the bottom of the stack memory. And suppose Function C completes its execution and returns. So its stack frame will be removed from the stack memory. So whenever a function returns, its stack frame is popped out of the stack memory. 
because the stack memory is a stack therefore we will use the terms which is associated with the stack operation so adding the data to the stack memory means that pushing the data in the stack and removing the data from the stack memory means popping out the data so stack frames are pushed into the stack when function invocation is done and when the function returns then the stack frame is popped out of the stack